So guys, back at it again. Hope y'all are doing well. We got a fantastic scent we're using tonight. One of my favorites. Um, and that is Rose Santal by Chatillon Lux and l, l Grooming. Phenomenal scent. Very sweet, sultry rose. I love it. Um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, this is in the bison base. Fantastic stuff. Um, I thought I'd go with something interesting today. We're going with the Sagus, the upside down smile or the frown razor, as you can see, kind of curves down. I've used it on the channel a few times. Bull Goose exclusive, some decent shine on there. This is the 07 model. <clears throat> Where's my bleed? Today we'll be going with the fresh Astra SP. See how that goes. I actually like this razor. I just, I don't know, I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna pair it up with the Rex Envoy handle because that's one of the best handles on the market and it works fine. We are torqued down, as you can see, the blade is curved, but it provides a chatter-free experience. Let's get into the shave, boys. Grooming department, unscented pre-shave. Not enough war on my face. One. I was gonna shave last night, but I felt like absolute crap. I don't know, man, I was just like nauseous. And sometimes a scent, any scent can make you feel even more nauseous shaving with it. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll just shave tomorrow. I'll get away with it. All right. So we're working on like, what, two days of growth? One day, I don't even know. It's like a day or two, um, <clears throat> but Pre-shave should be activated. I did throw on some Zahara off this morning, but it's pretty much gone, so yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, for the brush, I thought it matched the handle well, so I went with the Peach B7. Yeah, matches the Declaration logo pretty well. And I got some, some berry tea. <laughs> Yo, man, tea makes you feel better. I've seen people uh, shave with coffee, shave with beer, but not with tea, so got to give the tea some love, <laughs> some twinings. All right, we're going to load it for about 30 seconds. See how it goes. <clears throat> Dude, the scent is like crack. It's so good. It's addicting. It's intoxicating. Um... It's kind of the same rose you get from the user rose patchouli. It reminds me of that. Um, but obviously without the yuzu, <laughs> without the patchouli. Um, yeah. The other note I get mostly from this is the sandalwood. And uh, the way Chatillon Lux describes it is it's kind of the same sandalwood that's in it. Inspired by uh, Santel, Santal Oster, which I haven't tried yet. Yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of huge, a lot of inspiration on that note of sandalwood, which makes me intrigued. It makes me want to try it, but, uh, yeah, so it kind of gives you an idea. And he did add some labdanum for some spiciness, some spicy undertones. Um, I kind of get it very, very faintly, but I think that's what he was going for. Um, any other notes would be black pepper and cardamom, so pretty simple compared to his other scents, but um, that doesn't make it any less great, if anything, um, it's one of my favorites, easily. Um, yeah, and uh, the, the EDT is currently offered, and I highly recommend that to anyone who's into rose scents, and I think it compare well with any... Uh, Rose uh, scented soap. I feel like I'm collecting rose soaps at this point, but I'm very picky with florals. I don't like lavender a ton. I'll do a whole lavender video again <laughs> soon. That's the story for another day. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, so I'm picking the flor florals like uh, this one floral I really hate. It's disgusting to me. Ylang Ylang, if I'm not pronouncing that right. <laughs> it was in uh, Madagascar. <laughs> and that was like one of the worst smelling scents I've ever smelled personally. Um, what's funny is I put it on like BST and the guy sold it like the day he got it. <laughs> he posted it the same day. I was like, yep. Uh, <laughs> hey man, want some, you want some? Wow, this lather's coming out real nice. I love this brush. All right, we are good to go. Look at this. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a good week, weekend. Um, all right, first pass. Oh, I'm gonna try something else too. Uh, I'll probably mention it in my next video, but I saw someone on the forums talk about how One second. <laughs> Very smooth. Pretty efficient. Um, <clears throat> how they only hold a razor with two fingers. Now, if you've watched my videos, I pretty much hold it like this. And I just go try to control the pressure. But they use it like this to kind of control how much pressure they use. It's a lot easier to apply light pressure. And I've been trying it for a few days. And I like it. It's a little bit harder on some bigger handle, heavier razors, but I like it. And this is not like re rewriting the wheel here. You know, we're not doing anything profound, but it's like these minor little tweaks can like make a world of a difference, you know? All right, I'm not talking for the rest of the first pass, so I can do it. <laughs> <clears throat> get a little bit of feedback with this razor, just a little bit. You get a little blade feel, not a ton, but I don't know. I'd say it's um, on the lower end of aggressive. It's not definitely not mild, but it's <clears throat> there is a mild version, so this is not it. Sorry about that, I got cut off. Um, look at that. <clears throat> when I used the feather the other day with the titanium tube, I had a ton of irritation. And I tried it the next day off camera with the Astra and using this kind of technique and method, and I got zero irritation. So sometimes a little few tweaks can make all the difference. <clears throat> but yo, Sean from Shatian Lux has really outdid himself with the scent. It's just so good. Um, if you like dry rose, like a really dry rose, 
It might not be for you, but if you like sweetness, but not too sweet uh, rose, then I think you'll really enjoy this. The sandalwood really complements it nicely and that you definitely get that tiny little spice in the background from the labdanum. labdanum. Um, all in all, great, great scent experience. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely check out that EDT Good stuff. Against the grain. This thing is so smooth. It's one of the smooth, smoothest razors I've tried, yet it's so efficient. Um, I think I didn't like it because... Hold on, let me fix this. I think I didn't like it because look how thick that base plate is. It's a little thick. I don't know. I like thin heads, you know? My two days of growth did not stand a chance. We are we're getting close. and base just all in all <clears throat> great experience um milk steaks is just as easy to use honestly it really is um most soaps i feel are easy to use except the ones that can only take a ton of water like the ones that are like way too thick if you don't add enough water and they're just drying <clears throat> that's the only time where it's not easy to lather um yeah like if you overload ck6 you're gonna have a rough time. But if you load it right, it's perfectly fine, easy to lather. That's kind of like the user's fault. Zero tenderness or irritation right now. And we're just gonna clean up a bit. I never understood why people rinse like every two seconds, you know. It's gonna cut fine with the lather or without, I feel. But I'll rinse anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling, but there's like no hair. I'm looking for something that's not there, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna rinse off and uh, meet, meet you guys for the post shave. All right, guys, we're back for the post shave. Um, had a great shave. Um, no irritation. Decent razor, pretty good. Um, a little overpriced in my opinion, but um, pretty good. Can't complain. Um, you can get this at Bull Goose, not with this handle, but yeah, I might use it again, might sell it. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> By the way, I did sell the car. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going with the matching splash. Um, 
This one kind of pours out quick, so I just gotta yeah, that should be good. A little bit. Get a little drip on there. I don't know, this might be use a rose and patchouli. It's in the same wheelhouse. Actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I like them both. <laughs> Can't go wrong with either one. Great shape, guys. Um, gotta top it off. Uh, yeah, EDT, Rose Santal. It's nighttime, so I'll only use one spray. I'll probably smell it for like 12 hours or something. All right, I'll use two. Good stuff, guys. So, we use Rose Santal, the Sagus, and the B7. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, it's a good shave. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.